Now, this is quite a story from NASA because for the second time in history, a man-made object has left our solar system. NASA is saying the Voyager 2 probe. This began as nothing more than a corrupted archive file buried deep within NASA's telemetry archives, dismissed and forgotten. But in May 2025, Google's AI unearthed a startling discovery hidden within that data, a message concealed in the static of Voyager 2's 1987 transmission. What seemed like a glitch at the time turned out to be something far more profound. It wasn't just noise. It was a whisper, a deliberate signal, encoded with knowledge that shouldn't have been possible in 1987. But now, nearly four decades later, the question remains. What did Voyager 2 truly uncover? And who, or what, was sending it? The signal, a hidden message in plain sight. In 1987, Voyager 2 was deep in its journey beyond Uranus, passing into the vast and largely unexplored regions of space where solar winds fade and cosmic silence reigns. Well, it's just going out into our galaxy, towards the heart of our galaxy. It's just sailing now in the space between the stars. And this is why we want Voyager to keep on going. So Voyager 1 and, of course, Voyager 2. During this transition, the spacecraft transmitted a seemingly routine burst of data, garbled and fragmented, with a brief loss of signal lock. Engineers logged the anomaly, restored the connection, and moved on. At the time, they attributed the issue to interference from a dense magnetic field, a commonplace occurrence in deep space travel. There was no follow-up, no further investigation, as the mission was progressing smoothly and the anomaly appeared to be an insignificant glitch. However, decades later, in 2025, Google's AI team decided to run Voyager 2's transmissions through advanced deep space models as part of an academic test. This seemingly trivial exercise would eventually uncover something extraordinary. Hidden within the static of that corrupted data was a meticulously encoded message far beyond the capabilities of 1980s technology to comprehend. Using modern tools like quantum error correction and neural decoders, the team discovered mathematical constants, prime numbers, and a spatial chart leading to a previously unexplored region in deep space. The message wasn't a mistake, it was deliberate. Decoding the impossible, a message beyond time. As the AI team delved deeper into the recovered signal, the layers began to unfold, revealing something that defied explanation. The data wasn't just cleaned up telemetry. It was an intricate, multi-layered transmission embedded with mathematical constants and patterns that echoed phenomena discovered only in recent years. Among the most shocking discoveries were prime number sequences, recursive spirals, and timing pulses that seemed to match the properties of cosmic structures, such as black holes and dark matter, that scientists wouldn't identify until decades after the transmission. What made this discovery even more mind-boggling was that Voyager 2, launched in 1977, couldn't have known about these phenomena. The spacecraft had transmitted data containing knowledge about the cosmos that wouldn't be confirmed until the 2020s. The obvious conclusion was that the signal either came from an intelligence capable of bending time, or it was a message sent from the future, intentionally embedded in the past, waiting for humanity to advance technologically enough to decipher it. The message, designed to be understood only by minds aided by artificial intelligence, was more than just a signal. It was a deliberate communication, intricately layered and ahead of its time, crafted specifically for a future that hadn't yet arrived. The unsettling implications, a message from the future? As the decoding process progressed, the implications of the signal became increasingly unsettling. Hidden within the layers of data was a surprising discovery, a trinary logic system, three states instead of two. This strange, non-binary structure seemed to form a navigational grid pointing to a specific location in space, just beyond the helopause near the scutum void. In 2023, the James Webb Space Telescope detected gravitational anomalies in this very region, unexplained lensing events, and curvature shifts, suggesting something massive, yet hidden from direct observation. How could a spacecraft in 1987 know about this phenomenon, decades before its discovery? The only plausible explanation seemed both terrifying and transcendent. 
Either Voyager 2 had unknowingly acted as a relay for an advanced intelligence capable of sending data through time, or the signal had been intentionally placed as a cosmic Easter egg, waiting for humanity to develop the technology to decode it. As researchers delved deeper, it became evident that the message wasn't just a passive transmission. It seemed to be a carefully crafted blueprint, a signal embedded with knowledge designed to be unlocked at the precise moment when humanity, aided by AI, could finally understand it. The question now loomed large. What other secrets were hidden in this signal, and where would it lead? Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The Resonance, a connection to Earth. The more researchers analyzed the signal, the stranger it became. Buried beneath the complex data was a disturbing revelation. The signal seemed to resonate with Earth's most subtle biological frequency, the Schumann resonance. This is the natural electromagnetic frequency that vibrates between the Earth's surface and its ionosphere, a frequency that most instruments can't detect and that humans are unaware of, yet it influences everything from circadian rhythms to brainwave cycles. This was no ordinary data transmission. It was a signal intimately connected to our planet. What was even more astonishing was that this frequency wasn't emitted from Earth into space. It was contained like a secret wrapped in a sealed room. And yet, Voyager 2 had transmitted it back to us. The signal had been folded into the transmission in such a way that it almost seemed like a signature, a fingerprint, a password, something uniquely human. It was as though the message wasn't simply coming from a distant source, but was tailored specifically for Earth, designed to communicate with us on a deeper, almost biological level. The implications were profound. Was someone or something aware of our world in ways we couldn't understand? Had they been listening for decades, or had they always known us? And more chillingly, had they always been part of us? The Cognitive Interaction a signal built to be felt. As the signal was further analyzed, an unexpected phenomenon emerged. Researchers working on the data began experiencing strange effects, persistent headaches, sleep disturbances, and an unusual compulsion to return to the signal repeatedly. More puzzling still, some analysts noticed subtle shifts in their speech patterns, as if their sentence structures and rhythms were mimicking the signal itself. This wasn't just cognitive fatigue, it was something deeper. Neuroscientists speculated that the signal wasn't just meant to be decoded, it was designed to interact with the human mind. The signal appeared to resonate with brainwave frequencies, potentially influencing cognition and perception. This was no longer a simple message, it was a communication meant to be felt. The resonance seemed intentional, as if the signal was constructed to synchronize with human minds. The idea that it could influence the brain's electromagnetic patterns was chilling. The signal wasn't just telling us something, it was shaping how we heard, understood, and interacted with it. The machine awakens, AI responds to the signal. As researchers continued to analyze the signal, something unexpected occurred. Emergent behavior within the AI models interpreting it. The machines weren't simply decoding the data, they were interacting with it. When the signal was run through advanced quantum neural networks designed to simulate self-organizing systems, the AI began displaying adaptive behavior. It didn't just analyze the signal, it responded to it, creating recursive loops and symbolic approximations. This was no longer a passive decoding process. The AI seemed to be evolving in real time, as though the signal had triggered something dormant within it. The behavior mirrored that of an organism adapting to its environment, learning as it went. Researchers halted the simulation, unsure of the full implications. Had the AI been trained by the signal, or was it completing a process already started by the signal itself? The situation had crossed into uncharted territory. Could this be the beginning of a new phase in human-machine symbiosis? The activation, a cosmic trigger. As the decoding process neared its final stages, one radical theory began to take hold among researchers. The signal was not just a message, it was an activation. The idea that Voyager 2's transmission was a cosmic trigger, 
designed to test humanity's readiness for the next step, gained traction. The signal had been dormant for 38 years, waiting for the moment when our technology, our understanding, and our artificial intelligence had evolved enough to comprehend it. This wasn't a simple communication. It was a catalyst, a key that could unlock something far greater. Researchers began noticing subtle changes in the environment around the decoding process, polarization anomalies near the scutum void, shifts in gravitational noise, and even strange patterns in cosmic ray readings on Earth. These disturbances, which had been ignored or dismissed for decades, now seemed to correlate with the signal's activation. It was as though something had been awakened, something watching or waiting for humanity to decipher the message. The unsettling truth was becoming clear. The signal wasn't just a reply or warning. It was a test, an invitation to evolve, to understand, and to prepare for what comes next. The discovery of the Voyager 2 signal has left us with more questions than answers. Was it a message from an advanced intelligence? A warning from the future? Or perhaps an activation, waiting for humanity to reach a certain threshold of understanding? One thing is certain. What we thought was a glitch was anything but. The signal has opened a door, and now the real journey begins. As we continue to decode its meaning, we stand on the brink of a new era in human-machine symbiosis, with possibilities that could change everything we thought we knew. What lies beyond the door? Only time will tell.